The objective of this video is to demonstrate how to set up prime, level, and zero the EVD system and transducer, demonstrate the appropriate use of the stop clock positioning for continuous drainage and ICP analysis, to demonstrate how to obtain CSF samples from the drip chamber, and to also identify resources for EVD management and setup. Supplies needed. You will need an Integra Acne Drain, an appropriate EVD catheter as requested by your provider, an EVD specific external transducer that does not have a manual flush device attached, sterile preservative free non-bacteriostatic normal saline flushes, appropriate PPE including mat, hat, mask, hats, and sterile gloves, and other procedural equipment including pressure cables, a pressure module, PPE kit for your provider, um, PPE for everyone at the bedside, sterile towels, clippers, occlusive transparent dressing, and additional supplies for your EVD dressing, sutures, cranial access kit, and Betadine or Dura Prep. To set up the EVD system, you will be using the box that the EVD system comes in as your sterile field. Gather your supplies and perform hand hygiene. You'll need an EVD specific external transducer, sterile preservative free normal saline flushes, red cups, and your Integra AccuDrain. Wearing a hat, mask, and clean gloves, drop your supplies into your sterile field. Next, gather your transducer and disconnect the extra tubing from the transducer and leaving the stopcock attached. The extra tubing will not be used. When attaching the ICP external transducer, move the red end plug on the manifold and attach the external transducer to the panel stop clock at the zero point. Priming the system is done prior to attaching the tubing to the ventricular catheter. In other words, this is done prior to connecting the system to the patient. With sterile preservative free normal saline, prime the tubing from the pressure transducer first towards the tubing that will be attached to the patient and then toward and all the way to the burette or EVD drip chamber. Inspect the line for air bubbles and debris. Secure the panel mount to the IV pole using the squeeze attachment. Anchor the suspension cord to the top of the pole. Secure the drainage system to the IV pole attachment feature by pressing the white clamp securing straps behind the drainage system. Attach the leveler to the back of the drainage system. Use the line level to level the zero pressure reference point to the external auditory canal of the patient.
be able to differentiate between millimeters of mercury and centimeters of water. Your provider will write orders to the appropriate centimeters of water and per your provider order, you will adjust the height of your burette or EVD drip chamber using the squeeze lock tab. To zero the transducer, you will turn the transducer stop clock off to the system and turn the EVD stop clock off to drainage. Then you'll open the transducer to air, press zero on your bedside monitor, and maintaining sterility of your transducer, you will place a new red cap every time. The transducer on the EVD must be zeroed to the bedside monitor with insertion at the change of shift whenever the transducer cable has been disconnected from the monitor when connecting to a transport monitor or when troubleshooting the system. To clamp the patient off from drainage, the stopcock is turned off to the EVD drip chamber. To help you remember, clamp up. When your patient is clamped off to drainage and open to the transducer, you will obtain an ICP waveform as shown. Please allow ICP to stabilize for 30 seconds to a minute for ICP accuracy. To resume drainage, position the stop clock so it is turned left towards the transducer. It is important to note that you will not have an ICP waveform during continuous drainage. ICU nurses may obtain CSF sampling only from the EVD drainage chamber of the device. When accessing the EVD drainage chamber, hand hygiene, mask, sterile field, and sterile gloves will be used. If you need any other assistance, please refer to the UCSD Neuro Guidelines of Care in the Nursing Resource Hub. When you search EVD in the search box, you will see a number of resources available to you.